Today, April 7th, is a special day for us as it's International Beaver Day. And as Canadians, we know a thing or two about beaver. This is the place to learn about food, stereotypes, culture, and all things Canadian. So let's go, eh? The beaver played a huge part in the development and building of our country, as it was the driving force behind the early exploration of the land. Let's start at the beginning. The beaver was important for First Nations peoples. They historically hunted them for food, as the beaver meat had more calories and fat than other red meats. Their stories emphasized the beaver's skill and industriousness. In the mythology of the Haida, beavers are descended from beaver woman, who built a dam on the stream next to their home while her husband was out hunting, and she gave birth to the first beavers. Tsimshian legends tell of a woman who dammed a stream to swim in it. Because she refused to get out, she was transformed and her leather apron became a beaver's tail. In a Cree story, the great beaver and its dam caused a world flood. Other tales involve beavers using their tree-chewing skills against an enemy. These are a sample of many stories. Did you know that the beaver was once the height of fashion in the late 1600s and early 1700s? Okay, maybe not the beaver itself, but rather its beautiful pelt as the fashion of the day was fur hats. More specifically, beaver felt hats. Beaver hats were water repellent, and the fact that many hats had wide brims may help explain their popularity in a rainy climate such as England prior to the invention of the umbrella. By this time, the beaver was pretty well wiped out in Europe, and the fur trade was born in Canada to meet the demand for beaver pelts. A good quality top hat required two to three pelts, while Cavalier and Puritan hats used more. Superstitions surrounding beaver fur may also have contributed to the hat's popularity. It was said that a beaver hat made the wearer more intelligent. By rubbing the oil into one's hair, it was possible to develop a remarkable memory. It was also rumored that a deaf person could regain their hearing by wearing a beaver hat. After approximately 200 years of the fur trade, the beaver almost became extinct in Canada. Luckily, men's fashion changed with silk hats becoming the norm, and conservationists fighting against the fur trade and prolific trapping helped the beaver to survive. Prior to European contact, the beaver population was estimated at 60 million animals. In the words of explorer and cartographer David Thompson, the entire northern half of the continent was originally in the possession of two distinct races of beings, man and the beaver. Today, the beaver has made a huge comeback and is once again thriving in Canada. For their contribution, the beaver is celebrated on various coats of arms, logos, and on the Canadian nickel. Even the youngest age group in Scouts Canada are called beavers. The mascot for the 1976 Montreal Olympics, the first Olympics held in Canada, was Amic, which means beaver in Algonquin. Canada also produced the first official stamp to feature the beaver in 1851. When it received royal assent on March 24, 1975, the beaver was given official status as an emblem of Canada. Now that we have explored why the beaver was so important to Canada and how it became our national symbol, let's have a quick look at the animal itself. Beaver are semi-aquatic rodents and are the largest rodent in North America. There are two types of beaver. Castor canadensis is the North American beaver and Castor fiber, which is the European beaver. Beavers build watertight dams made of woven sticks, reeds, branches and saplings cocked together with mud and rocks. They also build lodges, and these dome-shaped lodges are often constructed away from the shore, forming little islands that can only be entered from the water. 
castoreum is a chemical compound that mostly comes from a beaver's castor sacs, which are located under the tail. It has been used in medicine, perfume, and food flavoring. Adult males and females live in monogamous pairs with their offspring. A beaver's tail can grow to 15 inches long and 6 inches wide. In the water it acts as a rudder, and by slapping it against the water it warns other beavers of a predator. On dry land the tail acts as a prop to allow the beaver to sit upright. Modern day adult beavers weigh approximately 40 pounds, but in the ice age Castoroidus grew to be up to 8 feet long and 200 pounds. Beavers can stay underwater for about six to eight minutes at a time. As herbivores, beavers eat leaves, woody stems, and aquatic plants. Some of their favorite foods are poplar, aspen, willow, birch, and maple. Beavers have long orange incisors, and their teeth grow continuously throughout their life. Daily use helps trim them down. If you enjoyed this video, there are a few things you can do to help support our channel. Give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and leave a comment. For more content about Canada, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon to be notified of our next video upload.